on Tiger Vision News, dual credit classes, cheer tryouts, and football awards. All this and much more on Tiger Vision News. Good morning, Friendship. My name is Leah Moreno. And I'm Cordell Little. Good morning, Tigers. Today is Friday, January 26th, 2018. Students, if you, if you have plans to enroll in a dual credit course next year, make, make plans to attend one of these three mandatory meetings. Important information is to be shared about graduation plans, scheduling, college readiness, and the different courses. February 5th marks the date for the percussion extravaganza. This event brings together the bands of FHS and all three middle schools for a beautiful masterpiece of music. So make sure not to miss this wonderful event. If you are interested in trying out for the cheerleading squad, make sure to go to the mandatory informational meeting Thursday, February 15th at 6 p.m. in the high school student center. Go Tigers! Never underestimate talent here at FHS. Wayland Baptist University recently held the Regional Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Of the 2,000 pieces of artwork submitted, three of the five received an American Vision Awards for being the best in the show. Prestigious, prestigious awards were granted to the high school students here at FHS. FHS senior Jasper Abelos won a scratchboard drawing entitled Hollywood. FHS junior Heidi Scholes submitted a ceramic sculpture entitled Sitting in the Future. The final piece, a self-portrait by FHS junior Jasmine Luna. Art teacher Joey McLean is thrilled with the success of these students. That's all for Friendship News. Now let's head over to Dawson with the World News. Thanks, Leah. I'm Dawson Baker here with your World News. Did Trump try to fire Mueller behind the scenes of President's dispute with his legal team? According to Fox News, the White House was amazed overnight by an explosive report that President Trump orders the firing of special counsel Robert Mueller, and only backed down after the top White House lawyer threatened to quit. We could, ju we could be just one year away from driverless taxis. The Detroit automaker hopes to begin rolling out a prototype version of its Chevrolet Bolt battery car in 2019. Sand steering wheel and pedals, a move that could usher in, in, in an era when millions of Americans turn to robocabs rather than owner owning their own car vehicles. Trump is heading for ultimate failure in Middle East peace bid. Two events this week reflect stunning and unprecedented trend lines in U.S. Middle East policy. First, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, blasted the remarks that Palestinian Authority presidents made against the U.S. last week, and Donald Trump in Davos praised the Prime Minister and threatened the Palestinians with aid cutoffs. That's all for World News. Now let's head to Dayland with the weather. Good morning, Friendship. Today is January 26, 2018. I'm Dayland Gonzalez with your two-day forecast. Today, the high will be 67 and a low of 37. Tomorrow, the high will be 57 and a low of 27. That's all I have for today. Have a great weekend and stay warm, friendship. Hello, Tigers. I'm Lexi Jackson, and this is Friendship Sports Zone. Girls basketball is up for a challenge tonight. The Lady Tigers are currently 24 and 6 overall and tied for first place in district with Tascosa High with the 5 and 1 record. After a successful win over Midland High last Tuesday, 52-48, to girls are ready to fight hard and take another win tonight. The Lady Tigers travel to Odessa tonight to take on the Odessa High Broncos. Odessa is currently 5-14 overall and 0-2 in district. First tip is set to be at 6 p.m. Boys basketball are ready for a challenge tonight. Tigers are currently 13-14 and 1-3 and and in district. After a hard fight, the boys fell to the Midland High Bulldogs 71-55 last Tuesday. Tigers are ready to redeem themselves tonight, though. The Tigers travel to Odessa to take on the Odessa High Broncos. Odessa is currently 20-6 and 4-1 and and in district. First tip is set to be at 7.30 p.m. 
Our Tiger soccer teams are continuing the hard work in the midst of season. The Lady Tigers continue play next Tuesday as the Caprock Longhorns travel to Wolfers. First tip is at 6 p.m. As for the boys, the Tigers take action again Friday, February 9th when the tig they travel to Odessa. Friendship football season may be long gone, but the awards are in, and we would like to congratulate the following athletes. Defensive MVP winner, Dakota Champagne. Offensive MVP winner, Nick McCulley. Defensive Lineman of the Year winner, Jacob Eugenis. Offensive Lineman of the Year winner, Caden Langan. Defensive Skill winner, Colton Anderson. And Offensive Skill winner, Camden Carabelli. Congratulations to all of these athletes, and we're excited to see all the hard work you've been putting into the offseason. That's all for Friendship Sports. Have a great week, Tigers. Let's get back to Leanne Cordell. Thanks, Lexi. Now I'll send it off to our entertainment team. Hello, welcome back to the entertainment segment. My name is Tanner. So today, how's it going? Um, we're going to have three cards right here, right? So I'm just going to show a quick, simple magic trick. So top card, okay? Ace of diamonds, right? That's it. You take it. Oh wait, place it there, right? All Snap, right. comes up, right? All right. I see I can place it right there on the bottom. Snap, you know, comes up again. Man. Right there. Snap, comes up. Now you're probably thinking they're all aces. I was gonna ask. Yeah, I, see, kind of caught me there. <laughs> but I wasn't even using the ace of diamonds. Did you know that? See, ah, I was okay. just using the jokers. Gotcha. Man, that's pretty smooth. Fine job, man. Okay. I like it. Good job. Hello, welcome back to the entertainment segment. My name's Tanner. Uh, right here we have three cards, okay? So I'll go ahead and show you the top card. Mm -hmm. Ace of diamonds, right? Yes. I can take it, place it there. Snap, comes up. Ooh. See, I can place it right back on the bottom. Snap, comes up again, right? Mm -hmm. Right there. Are they all the same card? Yeah, I know, that's what you're probably thinking. Kind of caught me there, see? Okay. Except I wasn't even using ace of diamonds, see? I can snap, make them all jokers. Mm -hmm. One there, there. Magic. Thanks, entertainment team. So, what'd y'all think about that card trick? It was nice. It was interesting. Like it? I don't get how we put the ace on the bottom and it came to the top. That was pretty cool, just saying. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.